This lecture is all about the Columbian Exchange. As European adventurers traversed the world in the 15th and 16th centuries, they initiated the Columbian Exchange of plants, animals, and diseases. These events changed the lives of people throughout the world, bringing new foods and new pestilence to both sides of the Atlantic. The Eastern and Western Hemispheres had developed mostly independent of each other for thousands of years, and within a few short years, various life forms were traveling back and forth between the Old World and the New World. For some, this development was fantastic. For others, it meant absolute devastation. Diseases from Europe, Asia, and Africa had an incredible impact on Native Americans. Measles, typhoid, influenza, malaria, and other illnesses that Europeans had grown immunities to over the course of centuries tore through populations throughout the Americas. The biggest killer was smallpox. Historians estimate that microorganisms could have reduced the Native American population by as much as 90%. This disruption of American populations made it easier for Europeans to establish colonies in the New World without pushback from its original inhabitants. In exchange for all of these diseases, Americans gave Europeans syphilis, a venereal disease. Although not as deadly as smallpox, syphilis spread rapidly throughout Europe and Asia, reaching China in under 20 years. In less depressing news, Columbus brought sugar from the Canaries to Hispaniola, where it was then quickly spread throughout Central America. Europeans also introduced horses, cattle, pigs, wheat, and rye, another grain, to the Americas. The introduction of large domesticated animals in America led to better diets for Native Americans, and the use of horses in the Great Plains region allowed faster transportation and better hunting for Lakota and Crow Indians, among others. Europeans also gained new crops from the Americas, such as tobacco, beans, squash, peppers, tomatoes, and most importantly, potatoes and corn. American crops tended to have more calories in them per acre than European crops, which meant that there was more nutritious food available. In fact, the nutrition levels across the world increased significantly as a result of the Columbian Exchange. This led to a doubling of the world's population over the next 300 years. We'll see the effects of this population growth in Europe next unit. The Columbian Exchange was just the next step in creating a truly globalized ecosystem. Don't forget, if you have a question, write it in the comments or bring it into class, fill in your IDs, and take the quiz for video 1-6.